What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've got a video up for you guys, so I got a good one for you guys today. This is from back a couple weeks ago. Uh, my dad and my buddy Chuck and I, um, we went and did some pheasant hunting. Uh, this was around the Thanksgiving time, so it's been a little while. I'm just getting around to uh, getting it put together, the video put together and uploaded for you guys. For those of you who have ever done any pheasant hunting in Indiana, you know it can be super tough, especially when you're chasing wild birds. There's just not too many wild birds left. And you know, we don't use a dog, so you do a lot of walking and uh, you don't get too many opportunities. So we're normally happy if we can scratch out, you know, one or two wild birds in a hunt. Um, and this one, we were very lucky to get three. So it was a really good hunt. It worked out kind of cool. Dad got one, I got one, and Chuck got one. So, um, and this was actually Chuck's first ever wild bird um, that he's ever taken. So it was a pretty cool hunt. So a cool fun fact for you guys, uh, since this was actually Chuck's first ever wild pheasant, um, the field that he killed it out of, I actually killed my very first wild pheasant out of, I want to say seven years ago. It's maybe even longer. It's been a long time. If I can find the picture, I'll put it up on screen right here. I literally looked like I was like 10 years old. I mean, I was a baby. Uh, I killed it with an old uh, single shot 20 gauge, uh, my first ever shotgun that my dad got me. It was, um, I believe it's a Rossi and it's one of those that you can change the barrel out between a 20 gauge and a 22. So um, an old single shot, it was pretty cool. I killed my first pheasant with it killed my first wild pheasant with it um, so it's kind of kind of cool history there Chuck killed his first wild bird out of the same field that I killed mine out of so I hope you guys enjoyed the video you know we always try and do um, a pheasant hunt around Thanksgiving every year so this was pretty cool uh, to kind of you know keep that tradition going um, we may end up doing a put and take here um, you know later in the year um, so we'll just have to see what happens but pheasant season for you know at least statewide wild pheasant season is out um, now it's already ended so I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell That way you don't miss out when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you all had a good Christmas So enjoy the video guys Hand hand Hands Those were all hands weren't they? Right on the back side of that. I wonder if we should almost walk down to the woods, go in, and then come back. Because we need to walk into the wind. Hey, Brewster! <laughs> yeah. He, he went right in that thing. I'm just watching it right out in that field. It came right out of that brush, didn't it? Did it scare you? Yeah! 
He got him. Flop in my back. Where? Did you find yours? Yeah. I walked in a little bit. <laughs> Go a little further, and all of a sudden he's flush. It was just. It was, it was just that easy. I was already in position. I was thinking, do I want to go? Yeah. We all got one. Now here's the question. Do we leave them? Hope that we don't. Don't be kill another one. Take here and let. Them. Yeah, you gotta let the males breed. Let's, that's what it's all about. I was, I, I was just thinking. Tanner now needs Tanner's got to get his, and then all of a sudden it flushed. It ran behind us. It stuck in between us. Yeah. That one waited, waited, that, waited. This hen, I walked right past it, and then it flushed when I came back towards it. Yeah, he's a hundred gun. Give him hundred gun. Put him in his back, Chucky. You want the head back? Yes. I don't want to put on this gun. Here, give me it. Or if he can hold it. I need to catch my breath though, I'll tell you that. 